How's it going folks? So I'll give you a bit of an update on the aquaponics down at Ipswich or aquaponics. We know it's not aquaponics anymore. It's only got the reservoir. But we did have a little bit of a magnesium issue last time I was down here. Actually, a couple of visits ago now. And uh, you may recall I fed up the um, inlets with some rob water. Rob water, uh, which is basically aged urine we had left over here. And yeah, the system's doing, I'd say, pretty good just on that. Um, Kira hasn't added anything to it since. The leaves in this uh, black turmeric, though, they are a little bit pale towards the edge. I don't know if that's just because um, that's one of the uh, newer leaves. Some of the older leaves over there look a lot darker. So yeah, I, do, I did buy some um, fish emulsion, so I'll dose it up with that in a tick. Uh, the vanilla orchid is basically just sitting in there enough so the um, wood mulch down the bottom stays moist. Jack! Jack's just decided to get himself caught up in the pump cable, you wombat. There we go, that should do it. Yeah, so the vanilla orchid is doing rather good. It uh, almost, I almost killed it, but it's bouncing back nicely. So it will be coming up to the farm very soon. I'm not going to move that until I have somewhere definite for it. Now, the rest of these plants though, they'll probably, yeah, I don't know. Um, we'll collect seed from the Warrigal Greens. They're a uh, volunteer in there. The lettuce, um, it's gone to seed. Probably should shake some of those seeds in the actual bed itself. A couple over here as well. Give it a bit of a vicious shake. And yeah, hopefully we'll have some lettuce pop up there for Kira. And we also have some lovely weeds. Uh, the other bits and pieces in here are still going gangbusters, including the peppermint. And I think Kira's almost finished all the shallots. She's just got this big one left. I don't know what she's going to do with that. Uh, the thing that's really surprised me though is the um, cherry tomatoes. They're just booming in here and there's not much water left. It's just been enough rain that it's been enough to keep it going. And Kira hasn't eaten many of them, so I dare say we're going to end up with loads of seeds um, all through this clay media. So when it comes up, we'll end up with, um, yeah, a couple of them. And it looks like this little ball capsicum is not liking being in there. I have a feeling I know why. For some reason, this siphon isn't breaking, so the water isn't getting up to the um, ball capsicum, which is a bit of a bummer. So I'll have to sort that out. The other one's still cycling nicely. Is the flow too fast, maybe? Yeah, I think the flow might be a little bit too fast, so we will knock that down. There we go. Oh. There we go, that'll be enough. Um, I'll just keep an eye on that before we um, hop in the car and leave today. Bianca came down yesterday and gave the lime tree a really good haircut uh, just to try and expose some of the bottom bits. Also too, this whole section here is splitting and rotting out. So she wanted to get some weight off of that because there's, um, yeah, a lot of it from up the top was coming over this way. So that'll take some of the strain off that. I mean, it's a doomed tree anyway. It's not going to last forever. Uh, it's still, still providing limes though. There's still a few left on there and they got a probably about a quarter of a bucket yesterday of limes. And she also um, took out the top of the bay tree there as well. So we had a load of corrugated iron there and all the long stuff we've decided to take up this trip. Um, just using a bit of our wire fence frame from Mark and Maureen. Thank you very much, Mark, um, for that stuff there. It's come in handy. Um, using that as a support for the longer sheets of corrugated iron. And of course you need a red um, warning flag on anything that overhangs. So we thought we'd get festive with that one. <laughs> so we're taking up that and I've got some foam rafts and other bits and pieces we're gonna stick in there just before we leave. And yeah, so we're pretty much all getting the iron up there this time round and we'll come back and we'll get the shorter sheets later. Uh, they'll be short enough that we can actually just put up on an angle um, hanging out over the back. Out the front here is where we've done most of the work this trip. Uh, there was trees, I didn't really get a good before, um, but there were trees all along the front fence here. We've got Chinese celtus and also some crepe myrtle. And yeah, just pains in the butts, the pair of them. Uh, I've tried to poison a load in the past and probably have about a 75% success rate. So this lot here, I haven't poisoned them this time. 
uh, what we thought we'd do is just cut them back to the bare stump, let them put on some growth over a couple of weeks, and then we'll come back and poison them. But yeah, the majority of them are being cut down and mulched, as you saw. And there were also two beds in here, so they've been emptied. And um, I've had to get rid of the containers because they're both cracked. But what really got me was just the pleaching of this Chinese saltus. This tree is probably three and a bit years old and that's what it's done in that time. It's totally um, grown all around the um, top of the IBC there. And yeah, it's going to be a hard job to get that one out, but such is. Uh, luckily, a lot of the roots are fairly close to the surface. So this one here, I may be able to dig out. A uh, bit, bit of a design feature with this um, little garden bed here. You might be able to make out the hardwood sleepers there. That is actually higher than the outside ground level. So our thought in um, getting this garden bed made out of sleepers here was when the time comes that that needs to be replaced, we don't really have to worry about it because we have a backlog of soil here. It's something that, you know, we were just trying to future proof the front yard by creating this wall higher than the one at the back just slightly. So we didn't have to worry about another retaining wall there and we can just go and replace the fence post. So that's, that's part of yeah, the reason why we had this garden bed out here. We just never got around um, to getting the funds to fill it with soil uh, because we'd have to buy, bring it in. Um, but what we're trying to do is, you know, use enough of what's on the property. Um, other bits of soil need to be taken out of other places down the back. So we'll bring them up and pop them in here and then we'll end up putting a, um, a nice soil blend in there and probably plant out, um, just because we'll probably end up selling this place, a um, load of little native bird attractors like the bottle brush and grevilleas and things like that. Maybe some nice little flowers below. And I'm thinking about setting up an irrigation system out here as well after the plants go in, just so Kira and Mayor, they don't have to worry about coming out here and making sure the plants survive. We do have a nice bunch of bananas up there. So Kira's going to keep an eye on them. Hopefully they'll be ready in a, while we're down here and we'll be able to take them off. Uh, Kira doesn't go through a great deal, but I know my love, my mum loves these little sugar fingers. Sorry for the traffic. Not something you normally get in the farm videos. So yeah, we also did a bit of a tidy up from bits and pieces from under the house and all that as well and did a, uh, some trips to the dump. And um, Terry, I hope that cage comes in handy. Uh, Terry saw the other cage that we pulled out of there. I mentioned to him we had the other cage on a supporter's post and yeah, he um, asked if he could have it. So we dropped that off rather than throw it. The two IBCs up there, one of them was cracked around the bottom rim, well, it's the top filling port. So it was no good, it went to the dump. And that one there, uh, the IBC from where that tree is, it was all stretched out in one area. Uh, so I figured it was, yeah, it's over 10 years old that I've had it. That was one of the original asparagus beds in there. So yeah, uh, no asparagus crown survived last summer. I won't blame Kira. I could have watered them as well, but yeah, um, unfortunately that's what happened. So that's where we're up to. A bit of slotted ag pipe that'll go in the trailer today. Uh, a couple of barrels we're going to keep out here um, just for moving stuff around. They're easy to carry stuff in. So we still have stuff to move, like that tank over there. I'm still thinking it might be something we um, pass on to someone else. Yeah, it's got a load of holes in it. I was hoping to get a plastic welder and weld them up, but such is. And we do have some plants um, there that need to be moved up as well as my bathtub. Uh, so yeah, not this trip. They probably could have gone in, but it's too late because the back gate is weighed down. Maybe next trip. And yeah, which will be in a couple of days time because I'm coming down to pick up my mum for a holiday. So it's gonna be a messy couple of weeks. I'm not sure what sort of content I'm going to um, get out onto the main channel, maybe just a load of shorts for a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, just while we're really busy with visitors and that sort of thing. End of the year is always fantastic. Oh, and after mum leaves, we've got um, Mahanu and Maya coming up for a week or two, maybe. Don't know what they're doing just yet. So yeah, I will leave it there, folks. I do hope you're all having a fantastic weekend and I will catch you later. Cheers all, have a top one.